Greetings and salutations, friends. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Before I get started doing anything else, I wanted to give a couple content warnings, weight and weight loss in today's video. So if that's triggering for you or if you're not up for that mentally, physically, emotionally, I don't blame you. Feel free to skip. Uh, you're not going to hurt my feelings. So what I wanted to talk today about, I'm, I, I, have a, I have a bit of a health update. Somebody mentioned that they would like to see more of them. And so, hey, I actually have things I can update you on. I had a doctor's appointment a few weeks ago now with a new primary care doctor and I really like her and I think she's gonna work out really well. But, and it's not really but, but it is but. She added onto my chart for the first time, she's the first person to do this because I check it pretty often, morbid obesity. And I was thinking about it as I registered for another doctor's appointment and I had to go through and they're like, are these your diagnoses? And it was like depression and general anxiety and morbid obesity. And I was like, oh, oh shit. Because I knew you don't live like me and not know, but it hits different when a doctor has applied that term to you specifically. So my BMI, is apparently 45.05. I know there's lots of stuff out there about how BMI isn't an accurate representation of health. It is a number. I, I'm not gonna get into all that. That's what my BMI is. I don't particularly love that that is the, the thing, that, that that's how they're measuring, but it, whatever it is what it is. They told me that I weigh 314 pounds and yep, absolutely. I'm, I believe you on that one and that I am five foot 10. I refuse to admit this, uh, but apparently I am. I used to be six foot. I can't believe I've shrunk two inches. And on the other hand, I can totally believe I've shrunk two inches. I don't want to turn into my grandma who always used to complain that I used to be five foot four, but now I'm only five foot two with eyes of blue but I am turning into that person. I am a little peeved that I am now less than six feet tall. I always hated it. I always hated it, but now I'm upset. So I put next to my notes, height five foot 10. I wrote lies because I feel, I feel sassy about this, but yeah, diagnosed morbidly obese. So I had talked to my previous doctor a couple years prior that I was interested in talking. She asked if I was interested in doing something about it. And I said, yeah, thinking she meant like a dietitian. And she's like, would you ever get surgery? And I was like, no, I would never get surgery. And I felt like that up until this morning. Okay. I really thought she was just sending me to a place where I could talk to a dietitian and I could get information and start living a healthier life but she sent me to the bariatric no i mean not but she sent me to the bariatric place which is wait doctor so that was the right place to send me but their first question was so you're interested in surgery and i was like no they're like oh well you need the medical side so there's a longer wait over there and i was just like fine whatever and i just stopped doing anything about it i stopped um reaching out or doing anything so that's that's where it ended and then this doctor was like are you interested in doing anything about it and I was like I'm not interested in surgery I just don't feel like that's for me but I would like to talk to like a dietitian and a nutritionist and sort of figure out what my options are and how I can be better eat better live better because conceptually I know calories in calories out but I feel like I just want a, a map I want somebody to hand me a map and said say this is what you do and and do this right and it will help you. I want doctor now, <laughs> but without the surgery. Except this morning, of course, I'm thinking about it and I'm like, maybe surgery isn't such a bad idea. Um, I don't know what switched my mind. I watch a creator called Megan Ann. I love her. I love her opinions and her reaction videos and all that stuff, or her, her video essays. And she had bariatric surgery several years ago and so she lives with that I forget exactly what form she had because my 
my brain is like a sieve some days, unfortunately, but she's living with having had the surgery and how it really improved her life. And even though she's had some bounce back, it's still better than she felt used, used to felt, feel. And that just started tickling my brain. I also have a sister-in-law who has had the surgery. Um, and she's had really impressive results. She's worked very hard. She's made it work for her. One of my fears is that I will get that those lines on your face and that it makes it really obvious that you've lost a lot of weight very quickly as like why I didn't want to do surgery. The other part of me is like, maybe that's the right path. I just don't know. So that is, that is my health update. I mean, walking challenge, my 165 mile challenge, I'm 6% through six, 11.46 miles. I am not doing well. And of course today it's pouring down rain. So it's like, oh, I can't walk. I mean, I have a gym membership. I could totally go to the gym, but I haven't gone to the gym. So I have an appointment, a video call with a dietitian at the bariatric doctor place for Thursday morning, where I talk about, I guess, what I'm expecting and what they can do for me and what path I wanna take I'm excited about it and nervous about it. I'm afraid I'm going to have, I'm, this is what, okay. So one time when I was in college, I went to see a psychiatrist and I was depressed. I was flunking out of school. I, I flunked out of school. I flunked out of college, but this was before I've actually did the flunking. Um, I went and he was abrasive and I was unhelpful and he finally was like, well, if you don't want to help yourself, nobody's going to help you. Right. I need, I need someone a little more gentle than that. I need someone because at this point at nineteen twenty, I was not able to process that I am feeling unhelpful. I need you to be gentle with me. Can you, you know, I, I wasn't able to process those feelings within myself. I am now 45. I can process those feelings within myself. So I know I need someone who will listen to my story and say, you're bullshitting yourself on this and this would be ideal for you. And also give yourself a little bit of grace because nothing's perfect. I, I just, I need a little bit of gentle along with the hard facts of doing this is hard and whatever, right? I just don't want to end up with like Nurse Ratchet. Not from the TV show, from the movie. I just want to end up with someone who's like my primary care doctor, who's nice, right? And who, you know, is clearly not perfect because she's like, I need to record this session. Is that okay? It'll help me treat you better. I was like, that sounds amazing because if I don't write it down, it doesn't exist. She's like, yeah, right? So I just... I mean, who doesn't want perfection in their doctors, but not everybody feels like that. So that is what I'm at. Um, I have a, I have the phone appointment, the virtual appointment on Thursday. I need to get out walking and hold myself more accountable because clearly I'm not getting out there to walk and I'm eating a pint of ice cream a week, sometimes two. And I know that's not helpful. So maybe I'll try and start doing more health updates, health, pro health progress kind of things because, you know, my weight loss goals are not, I want to lose a hundred pounds. I would love to lose a hundred pounds. Don't get me wrong, but I want to be able to stand up from a chair without having to push myself off of the table I will, or push off the arms of the chair. I want to be able to get out of the car without pushing off the steering wheel in the back of the seat to, to haul myself out. I want to be able to, I, I want my knees to not hate me. I want to be able to crouch and not be in agonizing pain um, and have my knees go out from under me, it basically. Um, I want to be able to kneel on stuff. And I don't think it's a knee problem because my, it could be a knee problem. Who, what do I know? I'm not a doctor. But those are, those are my goals. I, I want to be able to participate in some of the events that we have at my workplace 
and not be exhausted halfway through or before we even start. I want to be able to not get all sweaty at work all the time. Those are my goals. I have, I have weird goals like that. And that was interesting because the survey before the appointment that you get in your patient portal asked me about all that stuff. They're like, what are your goals? If you lost, you know, 30 pounds, are you going to be satisfied with that? And I was like, yes, I was, at, you know, if I'm under 300, I'm happy. If I'm, if, if I get to 250 and that's my weight for the rest of my life, that's some, that's 65 pounds that I'm not carrying around anymore. That's amazing. And yes. Okay. Would I love to be under a hundred pounds or under 200 pounds? Yes. Is that probably going to happen? Uh, I really like food and it's hard to not think of food as fun. I'm an emotional eater and I'm a boredom eater. That's yeah, just the way it is. That I believe is my update. I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about. You would think that I would have written down all these other things. New. No, I wanted to make sure to try to get this done before everybody wakes up and gets going. So that's what I have. I hope you are having a fantastic day. I hope if you're not having a fantastic day, you're having a good day. I hope if you're not having a good day, tomorrow is better and I will see you again another time. Bye. I'm recording, I'm recording. Okay. Greetings and salutations, friends. <sighs> I can do this better. Let me try again. Greetings and salutations, friends. I hope I, I, I have things on my face. I'm trying not to let you stare at my nose. Okay. One more time.